We're going to go to our lightning round and ask a series of yes or no quick association questions of our guests. Uh, so yes or no, Dan Sperling, electric vehicles will save the bacon of electric utilities otherwise caught in a death spiral. <laughs> no, <laughs> they will be successful, but they will not for the... <laughs> they won't save the utilities. Uh, Kathy Reheis Boyd, you are happy Senator Pavley is termed out of office. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, I, ha I have to say, I always offered the oil companies an option. They could have bought out my contract. I could have lived in Hawaii. No. Which so, we take. So, <laughs> SB 32, see what happens. <laughs> You can uh, say anything you want now, yes, can't you? I know, but I'm free right now. Yeah. Isn't uh, that nice? Yeah. <laughs> Not, I'm just kidding, yeah, of yeah. course. <laughs> I, I've actually um, enjoyed the relationship, but, you know, um, as former Senator Sheila Kuehl always told me, you can always be gracious when you win. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Fran Pavley, oil companies extract fuel from the age of dinosaurs, and if they don't adapt quickly, some of them may become dinosaurs themselves. True. Uh, Kathy Reheis Boyd, Tesla's Gigafactory for car batteries gives you heartburn. No. Kathy Reheis Boyd, white people in California breathe cleaner air near their homes than people of color. Could be true. Dan Sperling, when it comes to fighting public interest in cleaner fuels, Chevron is the new Exxon. Well, that implies a lot of things. Um, <laughs> uh, they have not, Chevron has not been supportive of biofuels. Senator Pavley, uh, despite California's move to clean fuels, oil companies are more powerful in the state legislature than 15 years ago. Yes, true.